It's with my uh, great pleasure uh, that I first uh, attend this uh, G15Q uh, uh, meeting. Uh, um, is, the, is there any uh, pointer here? Or? I don't think we have a pointer. There's just the cursor on that. Oh, okay, so that's fine. Um, so uh, the title, uh, I don't know who uh, wrote my title. <laughs> it's, uh, uh, they, the, the program says that the Takumi uh, mouse model of the Diffusion Q, although I registered a different uh, title. Um, but but my, uh, it's, it's my uh, pleasure, uh, thank you, uh, to have this uh, name. So, um, um, so I'm going to talk about uh, today uh, about this uh, story. Uh, the first, uh, let me uh, briefly introduce uh, my models, and then uh, talk about a little bit about uh, uh, Synapse using our, our mass models, and and then uh, kind of that. Now that the, the family says that you know it's the seizures is most uh, important issues. So a little bit talk about excitable and heavily uh, balanced, and then um, uh, talk about more uh, broad uh, aspect as we have recently established the function of MLI uh, without uh, anesthesia. So. Um, I don't. I don't need, need to explain about this, but what I did, uh, what we did is uh, using a mouse uh, initially. So using a mouse ESLs, uh, double targeted look uh, looks looks based sequence to each end of uh, uh, regions, and using the uh, uh, clearly combinates in in ESLs to make uh, interstitial duplications of this. Uh, lesions in a mouse, I think that is uh, 6.3 megabits. It's a long uh, distance. So that's uh, people call that uh, uh, chromosomal in a technique, basically using on a Quidilux based systems. So then using this, although uh, of course uh, we, we, we knew that uh, that maternal duplications should have some phenotype. So initially, so of course we uh, 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 did a uh, behavior test using maternal duplications, but uh, at least our initial behavior battery uh, showed that's not so significant difference between Y type and maternal duplications, but, uh, but paternal duplication actually showed that some uh, difference. So in uh, using the three chamber test, we, d we show that in peer social interactions and uh, uh, use uh, recalling the autosync vocalizations. We see there's some um, uh, difference in uh, social communications. In reversal learning test, we show that uh, behavioral, so called in behavioral inflexibility. And this is just um, one example. Uh, this is just one side, but um, you know, white type mice is. Uh, seems to be interested in the Sanger mouse. But on the other hand, uh, this is the, uh, um, so as I said, so that what we call that the PADDP, so that in which the duplications uh, comes from the paternal allele, not maternal allele. So this guy is, this is a special case, uh, but uh, uh, this one is, uh, he doesn't, uh, he doesn't seem to be interested in mice. But so we collected numbers uh, like uh, 20s, uh, then uh, showing this at the same time in the car. So the warmer color shows us more times when. And uh, white type mice is uh, same more uh, near the Sanger mouse. But on the other hand, uh, PATP is showing this more time spent in the center chamber, especially corner. Even though some is actually going in, this timbers, but even though go in, uh, not like a white type, uh, but, but DP showing that the thing at the corners. So, with, and then if you compare 
uh, the stranger mouse in a cage, the white type mice is more than percent in if com uh, compared in animal object, and then the both white type in PDP is is going to the object. But and then if you compare in animal object mouse, and the white type is more time spent near the mouse, but these guys is not different. So that's why we say that uh, uh, impaired social interactions and. USB call and an adult, uh, so compared to the white type, uh, per DP and showing that a uh, less uh, USB call. And the difference of the USB is uh, not only different uh, uh, quanti uh, quantitatively, so, but also uh, qualitatively different. This is the uh, uh, example of the USB uh, from the uh, white type is a high with the high frequencies and comparing this so in uh, per DP showing that the roar uh, frequency and what we call that the one step type uh, is call with lower frequency. So uh, as I said, that this guy is, is showing that uh, lower frequencies. And if we uh, classify uh, these syllables into different syllables, then uh, compared to the white type, uh, but the P duplication mice is showing that uh, this uh, one step, ty uh, step type, uh, just you heard, is more dominant uh, compared to the white type. So um, I, I'm saying that, that uh, so the USB is different, uh, uh, qualitatively different, but although we still don't know what that means, uh, but somehow different. So in a behavior test, we say that the pattern different mice it showed that the normal social behaviors, in interactions, and communications, behavior and frequency. I didn't show that at all, but they show that the high anxiety. And, and using this, uh, now we are doing a different kind of experiment. And one is on uh, uh, synapse, because as you know that, uh, like, like uh, especially in autism spectrum disorders, neuroregan, Neurexin or shank, these kind of the uh, synaptic molecules is reported to uh, a kind of risk genes or causative genes in autisms. So now it's not only autisms, but also other psychiatric like diseases, it might be a synaptopathy. So we check uh, uh, the synapse by in vivo imaging using a two photon microscopy. And then what we found is that this is the image taken from, from the somatosensory cortex. And so if you see this uh, here, uh, you see that spine here. And after two days, that this spine is disappear. And then you see here, uh, nearly spine formed after two days. So we calculate this kind of the, so what we call the turnover rate of the spine formations and spine eliminations. Both spine, uh, a ton of light of the spine formation, the eliminations actually increase in a 15 Q of mice. And more interestingly, this phenotype, uh, in other words, altered uh, spine dynamics. This phenotype, spine phenotype is uh, observed not only in uh, our mouse models, 15 Q of but also observed in other uh, mouse models of autism, such as uh, Neuroregan 3, not green mice, which is Tom Judo uh, generated, or BDBL mice, uh, which is uh, the, the behaviors, in, in terms of behaviors, and that shows that the uh, uh, autistic uh, phenotype. So these kind of uh, mouse models have the different uh, cause, but but showing that similar uh, synaptic phenotypes. So, so we, we, we hypothesize this. This kind of the altered spine dynamics might be uh, common 
uh, phenot and the phenotype uh, animals, at least at mouse model for autism. But in, in our models, uh, we still have the at least 11 annotated genes in these diploid regions. And uh, so next uh, question uh, is you know, what ge which genes and what lesions is responsible for these uh, spine phenotypes. To, to check this, uh, I, we introduce each genes and then see that the spine phenotype. As I said, so uh, we have actually uh, two different uh, 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 models. This one is a, a so-called PATDP. So again, that duplication comes from paternal level. And another one is uh, a MADDP. So the duplication comes from maternal level. And and at least, as I said, our well, initial behavior uh, screening. So this PATDP showing that I'm not social behavior. So first, I think. So we thought that uh, maybe this uh, paternal expression should be responsible for this uh, synaptic uh, phenotype. So we introduce these each uh, genes by in neutral explorations and uh, check the spine by uh, in vivo imaging using a two photon microscopy. And then this is a result. And uh, to make a longer story short, so among the, uh, these four different genes, uh, so-called nectin is shown here, in showing that the, uh, the similar phenotype as the original uh, duplication mice. So we thought maybe uh, uh, nectin might be the responsible genes in this uh, spine phenotype. And then we prepared uh, the nectin knockout because the duplication mice is showing that the nectin expression is increased. So we we see we, we want to see that the loss of functions of these genes. So using the nectin knockout, mice shows uh, uh, the spine formations is actually decreased. So the, the opposite uh, phenotype. And then finally, uh, this is original uh, duplication mice. And then uh, we uh, deleted only one copy of the nectin from this original uh, duplication mice is by uh, CRISPR, uh, CRISPR-Cas9 systems. So that actually the, the gene expression level is other uh, paternal expression expressed uh, about twofold increase compared to the white type. But this new uh, PADDP uh, delta nectin mouse uh, in showing that uh, uh, di no difference uh, of the, uh, the expressions of nectin uh, between the genotypes. And then check the uh, uh, spine phenotype. The spine phenotype is showing that exactly the same as a white type. So we can uh, successfully rescue uh, the phenotype of spine phenotype. So from this uh, experiment, we say that nectin might be responsible for this uh, spine uh, phenotype. So now, uh, the nectin is actually uh, uh, adapter protein. It's not a synaptic molecule. Uh, uh, so adapter protein. So now we uh, 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 wanted to uh, know that some mechanisms, how the nectin has regulated their spine structures. So, our, so there are a couple of the ideas. But uh, um, my favorite idea is maybe nectin be involved in uh, local translations and change that the spine uh, uh, structures. And then uh, we did a different kind of experiment using these mice and found that, that this mouse has shown some normality in serotonin. This is one uh, example. Uh, this is a very busy slide. But we took a, a brain at a development stage, uh, one to three week, and uh, separated uh, different brain lesions and measure uh, the monoamines, its metabolite, and it's systematically. This is a big experiment. And we, we see that some difference in a dopamine and others, but the most significant difference was serotonin. So what is white type? and black is uh, deep mice. 
And as you can see, so uh, this deep mice in showing that the decreased uh, serotonin levels at all development stage in all brain regions we tested. So from this exp uh, result, uh, uh, we, we, we hypothesize that decreased serotonin levels, especially in a de uh, development stage, may affect this uh, neural development and then affect the, the behaviors. So to check this first, so we first check the, the uh, RAFE, okay, that uh, serotonin neurons in RAFE. So to make a slice from those of RAFE, okay, and the electrophysiological experiment. So this is the uh, showing that the uh, resting membrane potentials of the uh, uh, serotonin neurons in the lab in Ukraine, and showing that uh, 15Q dupe is showing that hyper uh, polarizations compared to the white type. In ra and the rapid nuclei is, as you know, that the large nuclei. So we divided the lateral uh, uh, regions in the medial regions, so two different regions. And both, I think, uh, as you can see, is a miniature EPSC amplitude is actually decreased in, uh, in a 15Q dupe uh, mice. And, and so this electrophysiological experiment in showing that cytonagic uh, uh, neurons, activity of neurons is, 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 is showing that hyperactivity uh, in a rapid nuclei. And we also uh, did PET uh, images with the fluoxy deoxy glucose uh, using LA mouse so that without uh, anesthesia, so that we can see that uh, neural activity in the brain. Um, and then, again, uh, to make a longer story short, uh, the, interestingly, the lowest, so this is showing that uh, uh, red color showing uh, more uh, higher activity and uh, uh, blue, uh, cool color showing the lower activity. But interestingly, so the lowest activity in the brain of these mice is was the uh, dorsal valve in nuclei. So, which is uh, consistent with our electrophysiological study using a, a slice of the uh, rapid nuclei. So, anyway, so this mouse has some, uh, uh, so the lower activity of the serotonin neurons in this mouse. And, and then we, as you know, that the serotonin neurons from LAFE project to the uh, 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 whole brain. Uh, including the cellular cortex. So then we uh, uh, check the, uh, the response to the, uh, against the uh, sensory uh, stimuli. So in a, uh, in, in, in a mice, so we can use that uh, whisker stimulations and then see that uh, somatosensory cortex. So the experiment is to, uh, we cross our 15 deep mice with the uh, uh, G-CAMP uh, 7 transgenic mice, and, and then we can see that calcium signaling. And then, so uh, through the transcranially, uh, we took uh, calcium imaging. So stimulated whisker, so this is uh, the principal area, uh, response by whisker stimulations. And then you see that this is the response, calcium response in a white type. Compared to the white type, 15Q dupe is showing that uh, uh, principal areas is not so different, but uh, what we call that the surrounding area is larger than the white type. So we thought maybe uh, this sensory evoked response uh, in this burial area is might be a change. And also we uh, check this by a different way. Another was it, it, this is the uh, result of the in vivo uh, electrophysiology. So, stimulus whisker, we recorded uh, activity uh, from the somatosensory cortex in vivo. And then, again, as you can see here, in a control, uh, stimulated. Uh, principal areas is showing that the post uh, potentials here and surrounding areas 
relatively depressed. But compare this to the fifteen Q dupe, uh, uh, stimulant area it, as a principal area is not dissimilar. But as you can see, so surrounding area is shown a little bit high, higher. So compared to the control. So we thought maybe that this uh, inhibitions might be impaired in this area. So check this. We first did the uh, immunohistochemistry uh, using a, a synaptic marker. Uh, the big one, which is the uh, exciting marker, uh, density is not so different between the white type and, and, and the fifteen dupe. I didn't show this, but uh, on the other hand, uh, we get which is a synaptic uh, uh, inhibitory synaptic markers. In the somatosynthetic cortex, layer four, six is not so different, but especially layer two, three, you see that uh, we get density is actually decreased in a fifteen Q dupe mice. So I say that I'm saying that the inhibitory snaps is reduced in a, especially the layer two, three uh, neurons in the somatosensory cortex. So also we did the uh, uh, EM, electron microscopy studies. And what we found is a symmetric excited synapse number is not different, but the symmetric uh, inhibitor synapse uh, numbers is actually decreased, which is consistent with the immunohistochemistry data. So I, I'm saying again, the number of impressive snaps also decreased. And then we check the uh, electrophysiological property in a somatosensor cortex by using a slice. Uh, MEH EPSC are uh, not different. I didn't show this. But here I show here in a MEH IPSC using a somatosensor cortex. What we found is uh, IPSC frequency is actually uh, decreased. So again, electrophysiological also show that inhibitory uh, impairment. So, and so, uh, 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 somatosensor cortex, we see that this action potential frequency is actually increased in a 15 Q dupe and compared to the Y type. So, so uh, we say that this mouse is showed. Uh, show that some kind of, uh, uh, you know, it's uh, altered excitatory and ratios. Again, in, in saying that uh, hyper excitability of rare through three uh, pyramid neurons in, in, in this mice. So, as I said, this mouse has the uh, decreased serotonin levels, at least uh, during the development stage. So, we, we asked whether. Uh, if we uh, supplement the, the, the serotonin doubles, in, in, especially during the uh, developmental uh, stage, may, that can rescue this phenotype. So the experiment is a little bit trick. trick. Uh, so what we did is uh, to increase the serotonin doubles in the brain, we treat the uh, uh, SSRI flow excitations in the mom, and then we expected that the process go into the pups through the uh, milk. So we, we treat the mom uh, at the pups age at the postnatal day three until uh, the weaning, so the, uh, the uh, 19 days. So we treat mom. And then after weaning, so we stop the treatment. And then after pups grew up, and we did the uh, 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 electrophysiological uh, experiment and behavior experiment. And then this is a result of the e electrophysiological experiment. As I said, so the rapid nuclei in, in the vehicle case in their miniature EPSC amplitude is actually decreased, and this decreased amplitude recovered by treatment of the proxygens. And the somatosensor cortex, so as I said, miniature IPSC frequency is decreased in a, a control and the vehicle case, but this decreased IPSC frequency is recovered in this uh, treatment. And also, 
uh, serotonin and its metabolite 5-HIAA is actually decreased in the BQ case, but this decreased serotonin levels is also recovered by treatment of uh, fluoxetin. And then what about the behaviors? So this is a result of the three-chamber test. So the BQ case, uh, as I said, so the white type, more time spent near the stranger mouse, but uh, uh, the fifteen cube group showing that no difference. But in a group with treatment with fluoxetin, showing that more time spent near the stranger mouse. So at least this one, uh, this social behavior uh, phenotype was can be rescued by this treatment, and this showing that a result of the uh, reversal uh, running uh, reversal running test is the Morris Watermans test, and showing that behavioral inflexibility, but this behavioral inflexibility phenotype is not rescued by this treatment. And this is the result of the uh, USB uh, measurement. And the experiment is a little bit different in these uh, pictures. So we uh, treat, directly treat the uh, proxies into the pups uh, after birth, and then treat it uh, six days. And then after the seven days, uh, we measured ultrasonic vocalizations. Then uh, compared to the white type, uh, uh, but the P, uh, 15 q dupe is showing that uh, large amount of USB. Uh, probably, uh, this is probably due to the anxiety, not, my, not to the uh, impaired social communication. But anyway, so this large amount of USB uh, can be rescued uh, by treatment for oxygen in those with bending manner. So, um, what I, what I uh, said is uh, so this mouse is showing that they reduced uh, uh, ac activity of the serotonin neurons and showing that some uh, in terms of excited and imbalance and these kind of phenotype can be rescued by uh, treatment uh, during the uh, 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 during the stage and then uh, uh, finally uh, I just uh, give you a little bit different story so we to, uh, to bridge a gap between an uh, uh, animal model and uh, human data, so we wanted to establish the functional MRI using an awake mouse without anesthesia and, and, and take uh, listening member mutations, uh, listening state uh, uh, image, in addition to, uh, to have some image in a task. In our case, we skip them a uh, olfactory uh, task. So this is result of the lessened state function connectivity, and using a, a lateral or spinal cortex as seed, so we can uh, see that so-called uh, default mode network. And compared to the white type, and 15Q dip is showing that uh, so the anterior region is 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 disappeared. So uh, uh, we say that at least uh, compared to the white type and 15Q dip, and showing that the difference in a depot mode network. And this is the uh, 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 result and, and uh, uh, function connectivity uh, by calculating correlation coefficient uh, using the uh, 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 region of interest. And then this is a uh, result of Y type. Compared to this, I think you do is showing that uh, we say that uh, in, in, in whole brain, uh, we saw that the hypo connectivity, but in some limited uh, network like prefrontal cortex or lab and uh, nuclei or local cells, those regions may be uh, showing that the hyper connectivity. So this is a just uh, a direct comparison between a uh, white type and the 15Q dupe, and showing that mostly uh, showing that the uh, decrease to so the hypo connectivity, but some limited area in showing that hyperconnectivity. And then this is a result to when uh, we give them uh, uh, olfactory stimuli. So we give them the other orders, is other orders uh, as, as from uh, the other mice. And then uh, compared to, uh, uh, and showing that the both signals and compared to the white type, 
the 15Q dupe mice is showing that the decreased both signals, especially local sellers, and also lab in UK. And, and okay, so then uh, self orders we see that uh, uh, decreased in compared to the other orders. And then we measured in, in mono, uh, amino acid levels in the brain, and what we found that the setting is actually decreased in for the cortex. And then we ask uh, the, the, uh, the decyclosetting to increase the setting levels. And then we treat the decyclosetting, which is the partial agonist of the enemy receptor. And then the uh, decyclosetting uh, can rescue the social behaviors. This is uh, uh, showing that uh, interaction time is decreased in the 15Q dupe by, and they're rescued by treatment of decyclosetting. But this accident does not rescue the uh, anxiety behavior in the uh, uh, open field test or does not rescue the USP. And then we check this uh, mouse uh, with the uh, decycocin treatment mouse and showing that uh, more uh, hyper connectivity compared to the control. So this is just a comparison. Uh, between uh, uh, naive uh, PTQ mice and uh, decyclosin treatment. So uh, uh, increased uh, connectivity. So uh, assembly, so we set up the functional MRI using awake mice and uh, we can uh, record the listening state functional MRI and also we give them some task. And the 15Q mice showed in general in hypo or showing that hyperconnectivity. And but in some lesion uh, net showing limited work, network and showing the hyperconnectivity, and uh, and uh, uh, decyclosetting can rescue the social behavior and and showing that the hi uh, hyperconnectivity. Anyway, so what we want want to say, so this might be uh, this uh, system might be uh, can bridge a gap between the hum mouse data and the human data. So. Uh, well, we said that uh, we generated uh, duplication in the muscle 7, and that uh, lesions could spawn in humans 15Q1123. Okay, thank you. Uh, I should uh, acknowledge people. Uh, so initially, the Jin Nakatani the postdoc uh, was uh, generated this mouse uh, when I was in Osaka. Thank you very much.